Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a few weeks since I last posted, but I, <clears throat> sorry, I took a well-needed family vacation out to Pennsylvania and New Jersey. So now I'm back, finally getting back in the groove of things, working, getting the truck back, back on track to get done. Um, I've been busting tail on it the past few days, so I just figured I would show you guys a couple updates and show you where the truck is at now. I'm getting pretty excited now. Shoo, buddy. Look at this thing now. Yes, that is an eight lug wheel on my 1500. Finally got this side together and got the 22 inch rollers off of my Duramax. And it's all bolted up. It's got shocks, it's got brakes. I am going to have to modify the brake line to get it to fit. It's really tight and it won't bolt up like it should because it used to bolt up back here on the old mount. But now that this mount's two inches forward, I'm going to have to modify this and possibly get a longer line. I'm going to go look at the 2500 parts truck, see if that will interchange, and then run it down under the control arm, of course. I was just too excited. I had to slap it on. But it is together. I'm thinking... We're going to have to check once it's down on the ground. It's still in jack stands, but it's got quite a bit of positive camber at the moment. I'm hoping that straightens out once it's on the ground. If not, I might have to look into modifying the upper control arm, maybe shortening it half an inch, and then sleeving it and welding it. But we'll see once it's on the ground. But as of right now, it's it could sit on its own weight on this side. I love it. It's a big milestone. It's actually motivating me even more seeing it come together like that with the eight lug wheel on it. I love it. Another thing I want to update you guys on is I got my solid motor mounts done. What I ended up doing was taking the stock motor mount and I took the factory shell and I ended up boxing it with 3 16 plate and then I welded washers on the outside for even more structure and support um, I gusseted the inside of the box so it's just a solid solid unit um, and then I painted them up all nice shiny I upgraded to half inch motor mount bolts I went to the local Tractor Supply and got some 6 inch long half inch grade 8 bolts with locking flange nut, serrated flange nut. And be running that unit all the strength. But that was a big deal on getting the motor mounts done because it's kind of a pain to fit your fingers up in here and get all the nuts tight with this big old 9 and a quarter diff in the way. So I did that, now everything's all bolted up, diff-wise, so now I can finish grinding this side of the frame. I still have a little bit of cleaning up to do, but it can go together. I just want to clean it up and paint it like I did this side. Look at that gleaming off of it. It's never been that clean. Crazy with a little wire brushing and grinding and a little aerosol overhaul due to a 94 Chevy. This side's almost too nice. It's too nice now. I'm gonna be scared to get it all dirty and oily when it's once it flings a rod, but be easier to clean up too with the shiny smooth frame. Oh, another thing I ended up getting was my new front drive line. Well, not new, but rebuilt. I had it shortened. Now it's balanced, shortened, just new joints. Shout out to Inland Truck here in town. Quick turnaround, got her handled for me. Be able to go buck 20 in four wheel drive now, no worries, all balanced. Ready to rock. Definitely didn't want to do it in two wheel drive, so. Yeah, I mean, what else is there to say? Um, I will post another update once I have this thing. Next step will probably be on its own weight on the front. Once I get the back all jacked up and start doing the rear axle swap. But next video, it will be on its own weight again. 
and I'm super excited. I know the video is not very long or nothing crazy or super informative like my last ones, but I just figured I would keep you guys updated on what's going on. Um, I know a few of you guys asked me about an update because it's been a while, but had to take some time off, hit the recharge button. So now we're back in full swing, ready to hammer this thing out. Um, I'm glad that whole shot diesel series and North Ostina circuit finally posted their schedule was waiting on that so I can start planning more events. I'm definitely hitting diesels on the mountain again this year, which I did last year dynoed and took second in 770. I might, I'm going to try and swing for the fences and run 670 or I'll dial it back and run 770 again, hit the dyno of course. I'd also like to hit, if there's two events in Utah and I'd like to hit both of those, possibly the one in Wyoming just kind of hard living in Colorado. There's not very many choices to pick from unless you love driving. Another one I'm really excited for, and I definitely want to get the truck dialed in by then, is Race Wars at Hutchison, Kansas at the Equalizer, September 3rd, which is 10 days before my birthday, so it'd be a good birthday present to myself, I feel. Um, would be go to Race Wars and race this thing at the Equalizer. Um, so hopefully it'll still be together by then um if not i'm gonna have to hurry up slap another stock long block back together and i'll make it one way or the other i promise um and another event is weekend on the edge that will definitely get me my sled pulling practice that i'm gonna need if i end up at ucc which is the plan um that's why i need you guys to share the, all this around show your buddies got to get that invite to UCC so I got to get this thing out there um, I'm doing my best I need your guys help doing it too um, but I definitely want to hit weekend on the edge that was always one of my goals back when they had the track open was to go race there for my birthday cause weekend on the edge has always been just a couple or a few days away from my birthday on the 13th um, so I'll definitely be trying to hit that this year hit the sled pole and the dyno but yeah, as always, guys, I will keep, I'll be better on keeping you guys updated now that back in town, back grinding on it. Um, I'm really excited to see this bad Larry back together, making some sounds. Um, like, subscribe, comment. I love when you guys comment. I always try and get back to it as fast as I can. Um, I love talking to you guys and sharing info. I love all the support. And like, share, subscribe comment and I will see you guys on the next one.